let's see a trick for a circular motion question. Question is that we've got three identical masses and they are connected by equal length ropes. They move in this concentric system. And question is that find out ratio of tension forces in all the three ropes. T1 is to T2 is to T3. With proper method, it will take around 2-3 minutes. But if you use a trick, you can answer the question in just 10 seconds. Only 10 seconds. If somebody uses a proper method, then that would say what? This T3 will provide centripetal force that will be M 3L omega square. Let me just give an idea of proper method and then you will learn the one line method. So T3 is what centripetal force that is what M R omega square R is what L plus L plus L. When you go for the second mass, net force on the second mass is T2 minus T3. Tension force in the second row minus tension force in the third row. And that will give you T2 minus T3 as M into 2 L mega square. And finally, for the first row, Tension is T1, this tension is T2 and therefore net centripetal force of the first block is T1 minus T2 which is M into L into omega square. Now T3 is known, what is T2? You can calculate that, T2 is coming M to L omega square plus T3 that is M into 5L omega square 3 plus 2 shift and then you can find T1 also T2 we have calculated put it in this equation and you get M into 6L omega square that's the proper method centripetal force on this block is only what T3 and centripetal force is m r omega square. Centripetal force on this second is not T2, it's T2 minus T3, is m r omega square. On the first block, it's T1 minus T2, that is m r omega square. They move with different velocities, but in circular motion, angular velocity remains what same, and therefore we are not using m v square upon r, Instead, we choose m r omega square, the slab of version. Now, we have found T1, we have found T2, we have found T3. You can see easily you can take the ratio. But now, look at the one line method, a method which you can use in any, in any competitive examination. And the method says what? If you need to find T1 is to T2 is to T3. Then write down what? 1, 2, 3. Like this. 1, 2, 3. Starting from this. 1, 2, 3. And then, third one is this 3. Second one is not 2, but is 3 plus 2, 5. First one is 3 plus 2 plus 1, 6. That's all. That's the answer. 6 is to 5 is to 3. In just 10 seconds you can answer a question like this. Suppose they give you, suppose they give you a fourth block. If they attach a fourth block with same length L, mass is also M and it is also moving in a circle with same angular velocity omega. If they ask you find out ratio of tension forces 1, 2, 3, 4, then you just need to do what? Look here. In 10 seconds, we need to find T1 
टी टू टी थ्री टी फोर दैट्स वॉट वी नीड टू फाइंड टू स्टार्ट विद वॉट फोर देन फोर प्लस थ्री सेवन सेवन प्लस टू नाइन नाइन प्लस वन टेन दैट्स दी आंसर टेन इज टू नाइन इज टू सेवन इज टू फोर so you can see the proper method also but in competitive examination there is no use of this thing you can directly use a trick but remember this trick is valid in this form if you have identical masses m m m in the other part all these ropes they are of same length l in that case you can find the ratio with the given trick. Go down this.